Governor Chris Christie signed legislation to legalize ride-sharing companies like Uber and Lyft in the Garden State, saying that this law will make it easier for the innovative business model to operate. Taxi services say it's about time ride-sharing companies face the same regulations that have been required of them. Arnita Contento has more on what the new law will mean for passengers. Hailing a taxi, for some, is becoming a thing of the past, especially now that Uber and Lyft are officially becoming legal in New Jersey. Christie signed legislation this past Friday that now ensures Uber or Lyft drivers in New Jersey must have a $1.5 million commercial auto insurance for all trips and mandatory driver background checks. Taxi services say they have been waiting for the state to even the playing field when it comes to ride sharing. We don't want them to go away. Everybody's allowed to do business. This is America. But we will like to see them have to go through the same qualifications that we all go through. And I think that would quiet it down a little bit. What I think you're going to see more of is other transportation network companies are going to start jumping on board. Richardson says that ever since Uber came to New Jersey in 2013, he has seen a drop in the demand for his taxi service. But he also mentioned that the regulations taxi services have to follow in the state haven't applied to Uber or Lyft drivers in the past. Here at Yellow Cab, we thank our dedicated customers that call Yellow Cab, of course. That's how we survive here. Uber representative Craig Uer says in a statement that the legalization will not result in any significant changes for drivers and users can now count on Uber remaining in New Jersey for a long time. You want to call Uber? This is America. You can call who you want to make this country so great. On the same aspect, uh, what's good for one has to be good for everybody. The law will take effect May 1st, 2017. I'm Nina Contento with SNJ Today.